God's timing isn't always our timing. He may not work things out the way we planned, but He is working things out for better. This COVID-19 pandemic has really changed everything around the world, from our basic routinary way of living to celebration of big events, a sudden shift to the new normal. Our dear parents and their children who patiently waited, finally, it's over. Ipugan Integrated School proudly presents its 11th graduation and moving up virtual ceremonies for the school year 2020-2021 with the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic.
Marcet D. Sabaloka, Seso 6, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Julius V. Oberes, Public Schools District Supervisor, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion 
for school year 2020-2021 of Ikugan Integrated School of home six are male and eight are female a total of 14 junior high school completers i at this moment certify that they have completed all the requirements of junior high school program under the k-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the department of education sir the candidates are waiting for your confirmation by virtue of the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Ma Marcet D. In this moment, I will present to you the Grade 10 Junior High School Completers. Catalonia Miven C. Heronda Janmark C. Malupai RG G. Papuaya Mark Victor M. Panaligan Jose Freddy Boy P. Julia Carlo Michael M. Contega Marites H. De La Torre Gretchen O. With honor. Malupai Iris May G. Adriana Joy S. Noblesa Glenny H. Panaligan Jennifer P. With honor. Sotai Riza G. Santa Ana Jaikil V. With honor. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present 
at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, 
most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. 
you are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Thank you.
important part. But you must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life. An embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and confidence. As you relish this moment, remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success steals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in death and region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayong ta ang pagpalanggaray. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay. On your graduation day, I congratulate all of you dear graduates of Batch 2021. I salute your perseverance and personal resolve to meet the curriculum requirements satisfactorily at the end of the school year, even with the challenges brought about by distance learning. I also congratulate your parents and guardians for allowing you continue and finish your education levels for the sacrifices, believing that education would lead you to become your best self and for their stake, that you become productive citizens in the future and a pride of the family. I extend my congratulations too to your teachers, your school head, and the whole community for providing all opportunities for you to access education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a bittersweet time for the class of 2021 as the pandemic disrupted students' dreams of attending their graduation ceremony Donning graduation outfits, going up the stage to receive diplomas, and having fun in graduation balls. Never despair, for graduating is a remarkable achievement and worth posing to celebrate even just in a virtual way. Still, let us celebrate the new normal in which not only learning happens to the various modalities adopted by the Department of Education, but also includes your graduation sans the ceremony. My dear graduates, as you venture on to your next destination, please bring the name of your school with dignity as you forward this year's theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Seize all opportunities that open to you and make the most of each of them. Life is to be lived, explored, and enjoyed as well as a chance to make a difference in the world. Again, congratulations. Stand to be safe and may God bless and keep us in the hollow of His hands. My warmest congratulations to all graduates and completers BATS 2021 in this institution. Despite the challenges you were encountered for the whole school year, you came out victorious. I understand the many hardships you have faced along the way with this distance learning modality we have now. But with your persistence in doing something, despite of obstacles and difficulties in complying all the tasks and the modules at home, you were able to suppress it. My grand salute to all of you graduates and completers. I would like also to congratulate and give thanks to all our home learning partners, the parents, guardians, for their continued support in guiding their children at home by giving their time and effort of getting and re returning the modules for their children. My felicitation to all educational stakeholders who are not tired of supporting our schools by providing our needs of school resources to sustain our new trend of educational system. My gratitude to the teaching and non-teaching staff and school administrator for the untiring effort to deliver the best that they can 
to sustain the quality of education to our learners. And most of all, I thank our Almighty God that in this pandemic situation, education must go on. My dear graduates and completers, let us celebrate and enjoy this graduation ceremony in the new normal way. And bear in mind that as you move in the next ladder of education, whatever happened, always remember that you can do it as you look forward to the theme strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Make the most of every chances and live life to the fullest. A grand salute to all of you. Once again, congratulations graduates and completers. Batch 2021. Mabuhay! To God be the glory. Congratulations to the class of 2020-2021. To all the graduates of all elementary, high school, senior high schools in the municipality of Calatrava, my warmest salutations to all of you. This school year was full of challenges that required so much hard work, patience, and loads of prayers from all of us. Let's hope that you will be the only class that has to experience this style of graduation. You have successfully completed the academic requirements in the midst of this global pandemic. The 2021 conduct of end of school year rights for kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, and grade 12 focuses on the theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia. Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. To highlight that despite the challenges, the learners' rights to inclusive and quality education and to safety from the health risks of COVID-19 must be given priority. I hope that this unique experience to the modes of learning provided to you has taught you more on self-discipline. I believe the COVID-19 situation will not stay any longer with the ongoing vaccination in our community, in the province, and in our country. And hopefully, with the unique experience, you will be able to tell your story to the younger generation, the modular and the online mode of learning. And since we believe that education is essential, we have to move forward despite the difficulties encountered. Let us uphold the quality of education in the midst of COVID-19 crisis. So to all parents, guardians, school administrators, teaching and non-teaching staff of our elementary, high school, and senior high school of the municipality, kudos to all of you. May you continue your exemplary performance in providing the quality education to our children. Thank you and get, God bless us all. Sa mga mag-aaral, sa aking kamag-aaral, mga magulang at mga guro, at lalong-lalo na sa ating punong guro, Ma'am Maria Jennifer Puahita, magandang hapon. Ako si Jennifer P. Panaligan, ako'y isang mag-aaral sa Ikugan Integrated School. At dito rin ako nagtatapos ng elementarya. Pero sa panahong iyon, wala pang sekundarya kaya pumasok ako ng ikapitong baitang sa ibang paaralan sa Colonel Graffen National High School. Ug dito akong natagamtaman ang pag-antos tungod sa kalayo. Halos tulo ka kilometro akong lakaton ug mulabang pa ko ug daghang sapa. Sa panahon sa tag-ulan, akong giagwanta ang kabudlay sa dalan. Halos magtiniil ko arong makaabot sa eskwilahan nga dili late. Apan bisan sa kalisod nga akong nabatsagan sa akong pag-eskwila akong giantos ang tanan. Ug sa tabang sa Ginoo ako kining naantos ug natapos ko ang grade 7. Ug nipadayon ako sa pag-eskwela o grade 8 apan 
sa lain na pud nga eskwelahan sa Campo Bago, Manara Extension. Sa pagtuo nga dili na nako na matagamtaman ang kalisod nga akong nagian. Pero mas ni sobra pa jud ang kalisod nga akong nagian kay luwas nga pirti pud layo a ah, na apoy sa pa nga dako og maglisod ko sa paglabang labi na jud og magbaha. Samtang ako ga eskwela, gaampo ko sa ginoo nga unta iya kong tabangan nga akong maagwanta ang kalisod nga akong giatubang sa pag-eskwela, kadaadlaw. Nangarap ako na sana may maitayon high school sa ikugan para hindi na ako lalakad ng malayo at ang mga katulad ko na mag-aaral. Hindi lang ako ang nangarap kundi halos lahat na mga mag-aaral sa ikugan. Sa kaluoy sa ginoo natuman ang gihandom sa tanan nga matukuran og high school ang itugan. Pinaagi sa mga ginikanan ug sa mga magtutudlo ug labaw sa tanan sa atong principal Ma Maria Jennifer Puahita nga naninguha, naningkamot ug ning sakripisyo arong matukod ang high school ug gani wala na kini gitawag karon og ikugan elementary Elementary school kundi ikugan integrated school. Ug ma'am nagpasalamat jud mi og dako sa imo pagpaninguha, paningkamot ug pagsakripisyo kay tungod ni mo dili na mi kinahanglang mo baklay ug layo. At dito na ako nag-aaral mula ika na baitang hanggang grade 10. Ug ako ang gipasalamatan ug dako ang akong mga ginikanan nga maoy nagsuporta sa akong pag-eskwela bisan pa man sa kapi kapigaduhon si Papa mo mata ug sayo arong mukayod sa uma arong may maipakaon namo ug si Mama mo mata ug sayo aron sa pagandam sa among dalunon sa eskwelahan ug sa adlaw nga walay klase mangubra usab ako ug guna arong makatabang sa ginikanan ug makapalit og project Ma, pa, salamat kayo sa inyong pagsakripisyo gikan pa sa grade 1 ko hangtod karon nga motapos na o grade 10. Bisan sa kainit inyong giantos o bisan magulan inyong giantos ang katugnaw para lang mahatag sa mua ang amuang gikinahanglan sa pag-eskwela o para maabot na mo ang maayong ugma. Sa hindi inasahang dumating ang sakit na COVID-19 pandemic, Maraming mag-aaral ang nahirapan sa sitwasyon sa pag-aaral ang modular class dahil wala ng guro ang makatuturo at makapaliwanag sa riling pagsisikap na lang. Bisan sa kalisod sa atong sitwasyon sa pag-eskwela na kamot gihapon ko ug wala ko nagpadala sa akong kakapoy. Sa akong pagtapos karon sa grade 10, akong ibilin diha kaninyong tanan sa tanan nga mga estudyante uban sa mga ginikanan nga ang kapigadohon, problema, pagsulay, dili babag arong maabot ang atong mga pangandoy sa kinabuhi. Bisan ang pandemic karon nga giatubang sa tanang katawhan ug sa atong gobyerno dili makababag sa atong pag-eskwela kung kita maninguha ug maningkamot ug mosakripisyo kita sama sa pagsakripisyo sa atong mga ginikanan aron lang kita mapaeskwela. Mo eskwela kita bisan unsa kapigado atong tabangan atong kaugalingon aron maabot ang atong handom ug para kita napod ang makatabang sa atong ginikanan.
Time flies fast and it's been four years since your first step in your grade 7 classes, not in the classroom but on stage. And thanks to the provincial government initiated by Group B2 personnel through the help of Army Engineering Brigade in providing you a makeshift classroom. You were all innocent and excited on your first year in junior high school with your new teachers. And I have witnessed your learning struggles and difficulties, but you are banking on my words to support and be with you all the way until you finish your junior high school. Look at you. Now you are reaping the fruit of your labor. I really wanted to see you wearing your white togas and caps marching on stage to receive your certificates as your happy parents await you down to put on your garlands around your neck. But the pandemic has stopped us from doing so. But anyhow has offered you a lot of opportunities to maximize your skills and potentials as some of you are earning a living for your family while studying. You are the first junior high school completers of Igugan Integrated School and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who have been with us in achieving this dream. To the former regional director of Negros Island Region, Sir Gilbert P. Sadsad, the regional director of Region 6, Mamaria Gemma M. Desma, former schools division superintendent in the division of Negros Occidental, Ma'am Portia M. Mallorca, and the two ESDSS, Sir Janice G. Develos and Ma'am Maria Teresa P. Hiroso, to Ma'am Ronani V. Relegas, Sir Julius V. Oberes, Ma'am Margie Santa Ana, the Division Planning Personnel, Engineer Jeronimo Hermeo, Engineer Edwin John Jimenez, and Sir Richard Martinez, Captain Joel De Fruto, the Calatrava El Chio, spearheaded by the Honorable Mayor Marilyn A. Era, to the Barangay Council headed by Honorable Johnny A. Gilot, Ikugan Community, teachers, parents, and stakeholders, my sincerest thanks to all of you. Likewise, I thank the overflowing support of our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Marcet D. Sabaloka, CESO 6, and ESDSS Ma'am Salvacion G. Sinayo, and Ma'am Lini Peñaflor for the realization of our programs and other projects. And above all, I am giving back all the glory, honor, and thanksgiving to our God Almighty for sustaining us with good health, strength, grace, and wisdom, especially in these challenging times. Remember that your journey doesn't end here. This is just the beginning of a wonderful journey ahead. And may you continue to pursue your desire to become the person you would like to become. 
and be the bearers of change in the Kugan community and bring good life to your respective family. I am proud of your success and achievement today and you made me the happiest person together with your parents and teachers. Know that you will always have a special place in my heart wherever you may go because you inspired me to do better as a school leader. My warmest congratulations, our grade 10 completers and parents of school year 2020-2021. May God bless you all. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.